Great, thank you Lenny. And it's a pleasure of course to partner with um, Lenny Persing here, my man. Um, we've been working quite a long time now with helping the society make a major change in their credit. Because as we know, credit affects just about every walk of life. It takes a while to build it and it takes a while to hurt it. But you know something, what's important is that with Hood Estate, we can partner together with FES, which is short for Financial Education Services, to make a difference in everybody's life. Credit reports are far from accurate. In fact, statistically, 80% of credit reports have errors and omissions on them. And so, as we work together to correct these errors, these will significantly affect someone's credit score. 25% of them are serious enough to potentially harm someone's credit. Um, what I'd like to put up here, if you could see, is nothing more than a statistical method that's used to evaluate someone's credit history. And we'll go together, and um, you can see here from this chart that I call it the credit pie, for want of a better word. 35% of someone's credit is made up of um, how things are paid as they agreed, the, 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 the payment history itself. 30% right. uh, is the balance versus their credit limit. For example, if someone has a credit card for $1,000, the ideal place on that card is 30% or $300. Right. Um, a lot of people, of course, will say, but I've been paying my cards on time, but my credit score is not going up. The challenge here is they're maybe too close to the maximum available credit. Okay. So it's actually hurting the score, or though they're paying the card on right. time. Now, a lot of times, there this misdemeanor out there that Oh, we want to clean up your credit, so tell you what, close all the credit cards. That's not the wisest thing to do because you're closing out valuable history that takes a long time to build. Right. So the idea is to manage what we have and not necessarily to close out those cards. Under the current law in Congress, you're entitled to a free credit report once per year. You can go to annualcreditreport.com and you can get a free credit report from all three agencies. What we recommend to people is that you pull one every quarter from the different credit bureaus for experience, okay, so that's union. Yes. Four times a year. Right. Okay. So you can see if there's any erroneous things coming on your credit report, if there's any leads being reported. So this way you space it out for all three and it's free. When you pull your own credit report, um, you go online to a reputable website like the one I just mentioned, and you run your own credit, that's purely a soft hit. When you go to um, a car dealer, for instance, and they run your credit, that's considered a hard hit on your credit on your credit report. So you want to avoid that. A lot of times, people shop around um, 10, 15 agencies. I, I really recommend you do your due diligence to check the credibility of that company. Um, the deal that's offered on the car right. in terms of pricing before you start pulling your credit. Because once you start pulling the credit, by the time you get to the fifth place, you might be forced to take that yeah, car because exactly. the score the is score going, is down. going down. Absolutely. Okay. Fair enough. We talked earlier about errors and omissions. 25% of people in society have errors on their credit reports. That accounts for approximately 43 million people. Wow. Their scores are it's about probably 600. Now since the it, it probably even is yeah. as, as we get into the recession. Yeah. And 80% of these credits have errors on it. People's credit have errors. So when you think about it, when they come to Hood Estate, the goal here is to help people to restore. I don't like talking about fixing credit, but really yeah. restoring bringing it back to really what it should be. Right. And so here's how we start the process. We want to, of course, verify that the person is who they say they are. So we need to verify the person's social security number right. and their address because that's where a lot of errors take place. Working with 
put a state on FES, the customer actually has their own website. Right. Um, a, a sample website, if you want to look, is go to right. Go right. to united-credit-org. United-credit-org. You can log in with your social security number and a secured password, and it will show you what is being challenged on your credit report for all three bureaus, what's being deleted, and also if new items come on that credit report, it will show you the new items that's been added because something new may be late. And the great thing about it is that we offer 100% money back guarantee. By perishable things, I mean uh, even even cars. Sometimes we buy things we can't afford, but really we want to we want to build value. something of value yeah. we can pass on to the next generation. Right. So we break right. the poverty cycle, and there's nothing greater than having your own piece of property, your own right. piece of the rock, a house that you can call a home, because we've found statistically right. that children who grow up in their own home have a greater sense of value right. and it's something that can be passed on to the next generation. I'm Lenny. It yeah. is to you buy can't procrastinate people. Don't know the time. Procrastination is like a, a successful failure. You know, that's a successful failure. That's what procrastination is. You'll never get the chance to do what you want to do, what you say you're going to do. You just always get around what you want to do. So stop procrastinating and just do what you have to do. Do what needs to be done. There are just, there's so many tools that's available when you go to Hood Estate to provide you with the education exactly. to get into your own home because you can't pass on rental property and I, I'm saying there's nothing wrong with renting right. some people really need to continue renting exactly. but there comes a time when you want to buy whether it's a piece of land or you want to buy a home something Some that type you of asset, asset ownership exactly. collateral because exactly. you can always use that say if you you know you want to start a business yes and your house has equity you could put out some equity you could fund yourself if you can't get direct funding from the bank mm -hmm. you know if you ever get you know incarcerated you don't have to call around people to ask them can you bail me out you got a house you can put a lien against the house Absolutely. that's why you know a house is it has good and great value asset wise and collateral wise and this is why i explain to people all the time you know you have that you know 80 percent you know of the earth is, is basically made out of water. Mm -hmm. you know 20 percent is land so how important it is to have and beneficial to have a piece of property absolutely but only 20 percent is land so when you own a piece of that 20 percent that's amazing I love what you said, don't procrastinate. It is time. You know what your credit is. You can pull that credit report. It starts support. with credit. It starts today. You can't do none of this. It, it starts exactly. with credit. That's the first step. Because everybody call me and say, what's the first step? What you think I should do? What's the first step? And save. Save to make. And, and save. save. Start save putting it with it. It's 10%. And, and credit. Start putting some money. Because today, um, most institutions, financial institutions, want 10 to 20% down. Right. Uh, on, a, on, on, on a home. So you want to start putting some money. I, I tell you, Lenny, I don't feel bad. I brown bag my lunch today. You know? Because guess yeah, what? Yeah. It's healthier. You got to preserve it. I, I, exactly. <laughs> you know? You, you start yeah. putting, no, and it's the simple things that you teach your clients that make such a big difference. So right. I think the timing is right. There's a great, there's, a, it, it, there's never been a better time to move forward than this is. So Lenny, it's a great chatting with you as always. Yeah, yeah.